Hello YouTube. So I wanted to do a video today about maintenance, equipment maintenance. As uh, it becomes slower toward the end of the year, possibly for some, maybe not for others, but in your slow times, it's you have to make time for spring cleaning. And so today I'm going to be talking about cleaning your scanner. I, I want to talk about cleaning your printer too, but I can't do that now because it's an outside activity and it's raining uh, this week where I'm at. So instead of doing that, I'm going to talk about scanners. So if you have a scanner that is by itself, that's all it does, it's important to clean that on a regular basis because various things can get in there as you uh, scan, such as paper dust and other things that might were on things that were on the paper that get, get stuck on your glass and cause issues in scanning. So I have a couple scanners. Uh, this is one. Uh, it's a brother, ADS twenty seven hundred. So it's not my favorite scanner, but it works. I use it here at my house when I need to scan documents back to people. Uh, it, it works fairly well. It does, uh, just to share a little bit about it, it has a bunch of interfaces, network, you can plug a USB in there, you can plug um, into your computer. This is a USB, I can't remember if that's an A or a B style, whatever it is, and then your power, of course. And so anyway, this thing, this particular model tells you when to clean it. It comes up and reminds you, hey, you need to clean it. And it has a reminder, you can dismiss it or clean it and then dismiss it. So the important thing when you're cleaning any equipment, when you're dealing with dust and things like this, is you need to use the proper towel. You need a microfiber cloth. OK, that is going to be used so that when you clean, you're not going to make it worse than than it was before you started. I have purchased some cleanings, cleaning uh, spray. This is this is like I had to order this. It's directly from Japan. <laughs> so so this particular this is for use with my scan snap from Fujitsu, that's where I, I per, that's why I purchased this is because that's the scanner that I had, which I have here. I'm going to show that. If I, well, let me just show it. I have it in this bag. It's it's not portable. It's not designed to be portable. But my wife, who's a seamstress, made it portable. So I have this bag that I carry my scanner around in. So anyway, so here's the scanner. And what's so I bought the exact what they recommend to clean this particular scanner. And the reason I did that is because this scanner, not only is it very expensive when I bought it, um, I knew that it had some parts that would wear out. And I'm, uh, I'm from the computer industry, so I'm aware of the parts that wear out on these type of devices, mainly what wears out on this, this kind of device is the paper feed rollers. They will wear out over time and they actually have, uh, well, this cleaner is supposed to regenerate or rejuvenate the, the rollers, but there is actually some other um, roller uh, rejuvenation product that's out there that will make the roller sticky and I always used to use that when we when I was uh, repairing cash registers uh, but I didn't want to get that for this because I want to use what they recommend just because I don't want to buy another piece of equipment okay so when this starts getting at the end of life which it probably it's I've had it for five years now five years is uh it's 
pretty much pretty is old in the computer industry. They don't even make this model anymore, but it works. It still works and it works great. And I'm going to, I'm probably going to use it until I cannot support it any longer or software is not supported on any computer before I get rid of it. So anyway, so this is what we do. You take this, you open it up. It's kind of hard to show you, but here you'll see the, the rollers. They're on both sides. So I need to clean those. And then there's some, there's a glass bar in here. There's some other roll, there's some other rollers here, if you can see that. Glass bar down here that needs to be cleaned on both sides. Okay, because it it will scan on both sides. So you use that cleaner with your with your cloth to clean that off. So now I, this has a lot of paper dust and so forth in it. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to clean it here on the, the video, but just to let you know that that's what you need to do is clean those those uh, three main parts off on your on your scanner, wipe down all the dust and get that completely cleaned. And then also I brought it here. There it is. You get some of this compressed air. So you use this to blow anything anything out of the the, the device. So I would um, use this first to blow out all the, the heavy debris outside. Don't do it in your house. Uh, and then and then wipe down the wipe down and clean everything using the solvent in the in your your cloth. Okay. And that's what's needed to keep those scanners uh, in good working order. You also can vacuum if you want to vacuum it out. Uh, I don't tend to use vacuuming unless I'm doing, um, unless it's like a computer or something. So this same process works with computers. You need to, it depends on what area you live in and how dusty and, and dirty your area is. But your computer, for example, they should be uh, cleaned out every six months to a year just to get get dust and dirt out of there uh, just make time to do it okay um, the printers of course those are those need to be done more frequently because you have paper dust toner dust all this all these moving parts in there uh, you can, uh, depending on how old your printer is, uh, you can take it to somebody to do that for you, to work it over and so forth. But in, in this day and age, we really don't have repairable devices. So it's more like when they start having problems, you're going to get rid of it and get a new one. Um, that may be changing here with the, the times we're living in where things will go back to people wanting to have things that could be repaired versus replaced because it's taking longer to get new replacement uh, devices. So I'm, I'm just sharing this information because I want your devices to last as long as possible. If you give proper maintenance to your devices, they will last a long time. This particular scanner, this scan snap that I showed you, the black one, that one I've had five years and I have never had a problem with it. Well, actually, no, I had one problem and I complained to the company. I said, hey, I have a, a line that streaks through it when I, when I scan on at my house because I would plug it into my computer. But then when I scan to my phone, I don't see that line. And I sent them samples and so forth. And I said, yeah, if you look very closely, <laughs> it is there. It's just the, the setting differences make it more pronounced on your computer versus the, your phone. So they said, yeah, just clean that up, which I did. And, and the problem was solved. So just regular maintenance will solve these, these problems that you may have on your devices, just trying to keep them clean, keep them keep the dust and grime out of them, uh, they will continue to work as new as possible. So that's all I had for you today. And if you have any things that you need specific help with, 
as far as uh, technical support, whatever, I can help you. Uh, that was my main, my main uh, job for 25 years. I, actually, I still have customers, so it's ongoing, but um, that's what I, I did before I got into notary work. And I can, I can help you if you, if you need help on any technical issues, uh, you can reach out to me. And that's it. Have a great day.